Elijah McCoy, born May the 2nd, 1844, in Colchester, Ontario, Canada. Elijah was the son of Mildred and George McCoy, who were fugitive slaves that escaped from Kentucky to Canada by way of the Underground Railroad. In 1847, Elijah and his family, they returned to the United States and resided in Michigan. And as a young boy, Elijah, he showed strong interest in mechanics. So his parents, they made it possible for him to travel to Scotland for an apprenticeship at the age of 15. And when Elijah returned, he was a certified mechanical engineer. Now, although he was highly qualified, he was unable to work as an engineer in the United States because of his race. A black man was not allowed to hold a skilled professional position during his time. So McCoy, he worked as a fireman and oiler for the Michigan Central Railroad. And while working his position, McCoy studied the inefficiencies in the system for oiling axles. And he invented a system which was a lubricating cup that distributed oil evenly over the engine's moving parts. And he obtained a patent for his invention, which allowed the trains to run continuously for long periods of time without pausing for maintenance. And Elijah, he continued to perfect his invention. He perfected it so much so that he received nearly 60 patents for it over his lifetime. But as a black man, he was unable to receive the recognition and money that he deserved. So Elijah, he assigned many of his patent rights to his employers or he sold them to investors. And Elijah, now he also developed designs for an ironing board, a lawn sprinkler, and many other machines. And near the end of his life, around 1920, Elijah formed the Elijah McCoy Manufacturing Company to produce lubricators bearing his name. Elijah passed away at the age of 85 on October the 10th, 1929. Elijah McCoy from May the 2nd, 1844 to October the 10th, 1929.